Hi, I'm Roger Montgomery from the Montgomery Fund and today I'd like to talk to you about a very important attitude adjustment that you may require when investing in the stock market. Now I say that glibly, but in reality it's very important that you understand what I'm about to say. You can approach the stock market one of two ways. You can think of the stock market as a place to purchase pieces of paper that wiggle on a screen and bet on the ones that go up and avoid those that go down. But this is tantamount to gambling. This is the same as betting on black or red at a roulette wheel. The alternative is the one I'm going to talk to you about today. And that is approaching the stock market as a place or a venue to buy pieces of outstanding businesses. What I'd like to do today is talk to you about the importance of those outstanding businesses and how thinking about outstanding businesses can help you invest for the long term. Because remember this, Time is only the friend of an extraordinary business. It's the enemy of a business with poor economics. So here's how you need to think about investing in the stock market. Suppose I have a business or a bank account and this bank account has $10 million in it. Every year, 20% is the interest rate that this bank account earns. It's a special bank account, there's not many of them. So in other words, $2 million a year of interest is produced by this bank account. Now, I've decided to go to Sotheby's and I'm going to, or Lawson Menzies, and I'm going to auction this bank account. Now, there's a couple of things you need to know about this bank account. And the most important one is this. All of the interest is paid out. None of it can be retained and compounded. So if I were to auction this bank account today, $10 million earning 20% or $2 million interest a year, it's going to sell for much more than the equity in the bank account it will sell for much more than $10 million. How much it sells for depends on how much excitement is in the auction room at the time, in other words, how much excitement is in the stock market, and what interest rates are. But the reality is this, in 10 years time, if I come back and auction that very same bank account, the following things will be true. The bank account will still have $10 million of equity in it, and if I can auction it for more than the equity in it will again be dependent on sentiment and will again be dependent on interest rates. Today, the bank account has $10 million in it and it's earning 20%. In 10 years time, that same bank account will have $10 million in it and it will be earning 10, 20%. Whether I can sell it for more than I sold it for 10 years ago or bought it for, for that matter, will largely be dependent on sentiment. In other words, I'm going to have to bet that people are willing to pay more for it. They might, but they might not. So I need to buy this particular bank account at a very large discount to its intrinsic value. But let's look at another example. In the second example, the bank account has $10 million in it earning 20%, but this time all of the interest is allowed to be retained and compounded. In other words, the bank account will sell for much more than the equity in it. And in 10 years time, because of compounding, it will have $63 million in the bank account, just through the reinvestment of interest. In other words, the value of the bank account's book will be up here. Not only when I auction this bank account in 10 years time, will it trade for more than the equity on, in the bank account, it will trade for significantly more than what I bought the bank account for 10 years prior. And that's how you need to think about the businesses that we buy in the Montgomery Fund. We're looking for extraordinary businesses that can generate very high rates of return on incremental equity and therefore grow their equity at very high rates. Even if we turn the stock market off for 10 years, we're very confident that in 10 years time, these businesses will be worth much more and the market will be willing to pay a lot more than they're willing to pay for them today. I'll see you next time.